Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a sermon by Saint Leo the Great. Pope. Our faith is increased by the Lord's ascension. At Easter, beloved brethren, it was the Lord's resurrection which was the cause of our joy. Our present rejoicing is on account of His ascension into heaven. With all due solemnity, we are commemorating that day on which our poor human nature was carried up in Christ above all the hosts of heaven, above all the ranks of angels, beyond the highest heavenly powers to the very throne of God the Father. It is upon this ordered structure of divine acts that we have been firmly established so that the grace of God may show itself still more marvelous when, in spite of the withdrawal from men's sight of everything that is rightly felt to command their reverence, faith does not fail. Hope is not shaken. Charity does not grow cold. For such is the power of great minds, such is the light of truly believing souls, that they put un hesitating faith in what is not seen with the bodily eye. They fix their desires on what is beyond sight. Such fidelity could never be born in our hearts, nor could anyone be justified by faith if our salvation lay only in what 
was visible. And so, our Redeemer's visible presence has passed into the sacraments. Our faith is nobler and stronger because sight has been replaced by a doctrine whose authority is accepted by believing hearts enlightened from on high. This faith was increased by the Lord's ascension and strengthened by the gift of the Spirit. It would remain unshaken by fetters and imprisonment, exile and hunger, fire and ravening beasts, and the most refined tortures ever devised by brutal persecutors. Throughout the world, women, no less than men, tender girls as well as boys, have given their life's blood in the struggle for this faith. It is a faith that has driven out devils, healed the sick, and raised the dead. The truth is that the Son of Man was revealed as Son of God. in a more perfect and transcendent way once he had entered into his Father's glory. He now began to be indescribably more present in his divinity to those from whom he was further removed in his humanity. A more mature faith enabled their minds to stretch upward to the Son in his equality with the Father. It no longer needed contact with Christ's tangible body, in which as man he is inferior to the Father. For while his glorified body retained the same nature, the faith of those who believed in him was now summoned to heights where, as the Father's equal, the only begotten Son is reached not by physical handling, but by spiritual discernment. 
from the desert. With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.